we're being asked to find the inverse. So let's go ahead and work it out. The first step in this problem is to replace f of x with y. So y is equal to 4 times the log base 3 of x plus 7 minus 9. The second step is to switch x and y. So instead of y, we'll have x equals 4 times the log base 3 of y plus 7 minus 9. The third step requires the most work. This is the step where we solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and write down what we have again. So x equals 4 times the log base 3 of y plus 7 minus 9. So it's probably a good idea to isolate this term here first. So we'll start by adding 9 to both sides. And I'll go ahead and write this on the left hand side. So this is 4 times the log base 3 of y plus 7 equals x plus 9. And then divide both sides by 4. So we end up with log base 3 of y plus 7 equals x plus 9 divided by 4. Now we will exponentiate both sides. Recall a very useful formula. If you have b to the log base b of x, that's just x. In particular, if you have 3 to the log base 3 of x, that's just x. So here we have a log base 3, so we'll put a 3 here and we'll put a 3 here. And this is in parentheses. This is the exponent. So on the left hand side we just get y plus 7. And on the right hand side we have 3 to the x plus 9 divided by 4. Now we'll just subtract 7. So we end up with 3 to the x plus 9 over 4 minus 7. And the last step is a step that I like to do, and that's just writing down the answer with the correct notation. So f inverse of x is equal to 3 to the x plus 9 over 4 minus 7. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.